You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's The Voice After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424. 424- 256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's The Voice After Show. Hello, everybody. Bing is for doing, and we're here doing another after show for NBC's The Voice, season four, episodes 10 and 11. It's the final night of battle rounds, and we're getting into the knockout rounds. Got a lot to discuss tonight, so we'll jump right into it. I'm your host, Jason Eichler, and over there, who we got? Uh, you got uh, Christian Rosenberg right here. Woo. And Chloe West. And we've also got the lovely Naya Kete. Yeah! <laughs> Team Blake, season two. That's her that you're hearing in the background. Get her new single, you'll like it. We're going to talk to Naya at the end of the show about what she's been up to, but right now we're going to get right into the episode. We're starting with Team Shakira again. And yes. first, Shakira's got the battle rounds, and her first battle was Brandon Roosh versus Shauna P. And they sang Peace of My Heart by Janis Joplin. And I think Steven has a clip back there for us that we're going to hear, too. Um, I know it's about the voice, but I need to say I couldn't even listen to Brandon's voice because of the way he was moving. Because <laughs> oh, no. he was like he was like squatting on stage. He had some pretty, oh, yeah. pretty stellar moves. And so I literally <laughs> was just laughing the whole time. So I couldn't I, I, thought I he couldn't, did such a good job. I, really? I honestly thought that he won this battle. Oh, I, oh, I, I wouldn't go that far. I mean I thought he did great, but I was I'm I'm a Shauna fan. See, I'm sure. not yeah, a Shauna fan and I wanted her to win this battle just because I could hear her <laughs> saying and she was good. Oh. But yeah, it was I literally was watching it and I'm like, what are you doing? And his hat didn't match his pants. No, oh but I, and I just thought it was a train wreck. Oh my god! <laughs> I like to. Are you act. really judging like the fashion right now on him? What, I'm judging the fashion if you're doing squats in it. Oh god! He was squatting, <laughs> right? I thought it. I thought. I mean, I thought it was a great battle, and I thought it, he definitely had some. You know, he has a thing. He has a thing on stage. He's got his moves. I got. I totally. was. I was into it. But I am a Shauna fan, so I was psyched that she won. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, it is kind of funny because I really felt that Shakira was really trying to push Brand a lot more because almost like you know he's he's a young child, almost kind of mm-hmm. like being like kind of motherly yeah. to him in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, speaking of that, reminds me of a funny story. Being that Mother's Day is coming up soon. It's coming up on May 12th. It is. It is. Um, so, uh, several years ago. I thought my mom would love a cookbook for Mother's Day because she doesn't cook. She literally has a sign above her stove that says, I'm not Betty Crocker, adjust. (laughs) So all these years I thought it was because she doesn't know how to cook. I'm going to surprise her with a cookbook. I'm going to be the best child in the world. That's when I found out she just hates to cook (laughs) and Uh was very not a good gift. Yeah, and Mm -hmm. and she got very, very, very angry at me. And my dad kind of pulled me aside and he's like, he's like, you know, next year, you know, Get, get her some flowers because yeah, always a good choice. It, you know, you, you can't, can't go, go wrong with you flowers. can't go wrong with that. So Definitely since not. then, I've always um, you know gotten their flowers for Mother's Day, and I've always gotten off of ProFlowers.com, and they got an awesome uh, deal going on right now at ProFlowers.com. You can actually get a dozen uh, rainbow color roses for only 19.99. As well, yeah, as well as oh, no, wow. there's a like a premium special as well where you can get 24 of them as well as you know, a nice little pink vase and chocolates delivered for only twenty nine ninety nine. Oh my, that's incredible! Wow. That's a savings of over fifty percent. I know, 50%. I know. it's a it's a great <laughs> gift for. It. I mean, Pro Flowers is great because they guarantee their flowers will last at least a week or your money back. Wow, which is always a plus. And chocolates. It, and and you can't go wrong with chocolates. Can't go wrong there. And my nope. mom watches, so mom, I didn't get this idea from Christian. Yes, I did. <laughs> hey, there, there, there's there's yeah, still some time. Yeah, my mom watches too. There's still some time because you can schedule the time for them 
to, you know, to arrive there. But the most important thing is to get that special. When you go on the proflowers.com, there's a little microphone on the top of the website, and there's a little area where you can write a code. In that code, you're going to write after buzz. So you if go. you write after buzz in that code, you are going to get that special on proflowers.com. But it ain't going to last long because we have a lot of people that listen to us and a lot of people are going to go for that deal. <laughs> I'm so doing I'm, it. I'm sure they can only too. do so much. I'm doing it when I get home tonight. Hopefully I still can by then. So yeah, if you put the after buzz code and but next to that little microphone on proflowers.com, you can get 24 rainbow roses in a pink vase with chocolates for only $29.99. That's, That's incredible. Really awesome. Can't yeah, go wrong with Delivery. that. Delivery. Love Listen awesome. to that beautiful music. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, uh, get, it, get it for your grandma, too. She needs it. I'm going to get it for Grandma's aunt day. Aunt too. Aunt. Yeah, well, everybody. Now that we know what to get our moms for Mother's Day, yep. <laughs> let's hop back into Team Shakira. <laughs> let's do it. Her next battle round was Katia versus Mary Miranda. Mm -hmm. And they sang, I'll say the English translation, Before Six by Shakira. <laughs> anybody anybody want to try for the Spanish? Yeah, no mm -hmm. idea. Anybody nope. brave enough? No. Nope. Um, nope. Not going to do this. Mind. Antes nope. de la ses. <laughs> was like, what was that, Stephen? Antes de la ses. Hey. Oh, there we go. This Can was you like sing a, a little bit too, Stephen? No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight up. No, not at all. Um, this is <laughs> like claws out battle, like the two girls versus each other. And I was kind of unimpressed by both of them. I thought what? vocally, Mary Miranda. I agree. I completely agree with you. just kind of. I don't know. I didn't like either of them. She really does look like a doll, though. I'm yeah. Gonna okay. Say I'll, that. Give, I'll give you she's that. Very, she's, it's it's kind of it's annoying how much uh. she looks like a doll because she's so gorgeous. My, I was sitting next to my brother and he was just like. Uh. Well, and <laughs> I thought Mary Miranda maybe wasn't <laughs> as good at the song, but Caddy, I just kind of threw her under the bus when they were auditioning or when they were practicing, and so I didn't want I'm her to win. Team. Yeah, no. I'm on team Caddy. I really? feel like. She came into the rehearsal, and Joel even said it. She was prepared. She knew her song, and Shakira was impressed that she changed her melody but sang it well. Mm -hmm. And Marie, Mary came into it unprepared and young and yeah. showing her age. And if she would have come in and, like, come into that rehearsal ready to go, yeah. knowing the song, she didn't even know the song, Yeah, that, that, no, yeah, that's that, the, wasn't, yeah that wasn't so good. That's the part that really upset me <laughs> and because... And maybe you can, like, shed some wow, light Wow, I got on, cut off I'm there. I'm sorry! Oh. <laughs> no, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, go. No, 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 go no. <laughs> I'll go. Uh, no, I'm saying, uh, what I was saying was, yeah, because Mary, you know, you don't admit. I've never heard the song. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, you don't admit it. And then the thing that I real, the, the thing that angered me more than that was her saying, you know, I'm only 17. I never heard of the song. Your opponent is 19. Yeah. It's not exactly a big difference between but the two of you. I will say, Mary Miranda has more of a current voice, and Katia mm. was doing things that were popular in pop music like 10 years ago. And huh. she's not really, you know what I mean? She's trying to do like the Christina from back in the day or Jessica Simpson back in the day, and I didn't think it was relevant, or I don't know, I didn't like it. Huh, I never thought about it that way. And but maybe you can shed some light, Yeah. since you were there, do you get the song for the battle round before you go in to see the judges. The judges. Well, I mean, I don't know how much it differs from season to season. I know that every season is different, so I, ca I can't speak on that. Um, for us, we literally found out who our pair was found out what the song was, and then within an hour or something, we were in the rehearsal. Oh, so, wow. so But I don't know quick. if it was, yeah, I don't know if it was different. I don't know if it's different per season, because when I saw that, I remember thinking about that in that episode, because I was with, Jordan um, was my battle partner in the day, the country guy, and he's awesome, and he was a really good friend of mine, so in between, <laughs> right before the rehearsal, I'm like playing, I'm giving him my iPod and playing him the song and making sure that he knows it. Um, but when when um, when Katia said that and was like, oh, she came in prepared and stuff, it led me to believe that they might have had more time if she actually could yeah. prepare, huh. right? I mean, yeah. I don't know. So, but if I not, can't. that makes me feel a little less angry toward Mary. Mary. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, well, okay. yeah. Well, well, at the same at the same time, if I mean, if you if you got an hour. You have the technology to find out that song it's and listen true. to it yeah. a bunch of times right. where it's like, all right, you know, you might not be strong at it in that first rehearsal by right. any means, but you know how it goes. That's right. True. Yeah, that's true. At least the melody. You yeah. Know but that. I yeah. hate I hate in these competition shows where people come up with excuses. Me too. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, oh, I don't know the song. You get this huge platform to go out there and sing, just learn it and do it. Yeah. Million, <laughs> mil <laughs> millions millions right. upon millions and millions of people are watching you. It's just like, yeah, I don't know the song. <laughs> Yeah. Well, she ended up w wowing Shakira yeah. and winning that battle round. 
And, but Katia was stolen by Usher, which I was very happy about because I thought Katia actually won the battle. I did too. I thought she, I did think she did really well. See, I yeah. thought Usher should have used his save on somebody else. Who? I think I, well, I well think that point until the last minute, I think he was holding off for too long and there would have been so well, many other people. But he didn't mm -hmm. But he didn't hold off. He tried to steal a bunch of times and kept losing those steals. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. It's it's just, just, I'm trying to it's think. It's like, I can't compete with anyone anymore, so I gotta use it on whoever's left. I don't know. I thought, oh, I think she's, I think she's gonna do great. I like her No, voice. I do like her. I, like I do her like her, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and she sings again. Oh, Katia yeah, hasn't sang. Mary Miranda sings again tonight, so we'll, we'll talk about that, too. <laughs> So Should we go into the first knockout round? Yes, let's get into that. It was Garrett Gardner versus Tanya Reynolds. And Garrett sang Too Close oh, wow. by Alex Clare. And Tanya sang Hell on Heels by the Pistol Annies. Garrett, I thought, knocked it, knocked it out. Knocked yeah. out the knockout. <laughs> he really did. He, <laughs> he's Play gotten words. so much control over his voice since the show started. I he's gotten agree so more. much better. And he's kind of got this like sweet and sexy vibe going on. Where he oh, totally. mixes the two really well. He's he reminds like me of endearing. a young John Mayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah John he Mayer, does yes. look like John Yeah, Mayer. someone said that when we were I watching. Did. You we were said watching. it. Yeah, Chloe said I it. I think yeah. he, though, is sort of like, I think young girls will flock to him because he sort of is like the rock and roll version of the Jonas Brothers. Yep. So they can like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like the cooler sort of like punky Jonas girls. And, and, yeah. Yeah. and his, and his can I, was gonna, to him. I was just going to say his lip ring is his trademark right now. Oh my gosh, yeah. oh, so totally. cute. And, and yeah, I mean this this guy, you know, this is another one of the examples of someone that, you know, has, has proved people wrong. I mean, when he did the blind, oh wow, we got a little there video. There it is. Um, when he did the blind auditions, I was just like, I don't think he should go because he's really one dimensional. But in the but battle not, round, yeah. he progressed more. And here, I was well, very impressed with how he did. Yeah, what I loved about this performance, I love that he was playing guitar in this performance. I love the song choice. I love his arrangement of it because I felt like it was something that he would, I was saying it while, while watching it. I felt like it was something that we would hear off his record. Like yeah. I just yeah. felt it was very much in his not, not only in his element, but really showcased who it is that he is as an artist, which I really appreciate. Appreciated. But I really want to see him do, do a Jeff Buckley song. I think that he would just kill that. Totally. I think really that would take him to like next <laughs> next level in the competition. Yeah, absolutely. Shakira also loves him. Oh, and you can tell. Because she can mold him. Yeah. He, there's something about him that she just loves. And the other judges said that, that they think he's really a star and they really can see yeah. him. Yeah. Well, and he grow. was up against Tanya Reynolds and she sang Hell on, Heel by, Hell on Heels by the Pistol Annies. And I thought she sounded great. But again, the thing about her is she doesn't do anything original. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. she sounded just like Miranda Lambert when she was singing this, or the Pistol Annies. Yeah. And so I don't see her as, like, an artist. I see her as, like, a good vocalist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it was, you know, it was good, but it was nothing that made us feel like, oh, wow, this is something that we should, like, gravitate towards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that was hard that she was following Garrett. I think that was hard. Yeah. Did any of the second the performers win tonight? Yeah. There was I a couple? They did, yeah. I, I know most of them were the first. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, I, yeah, I don't know if that's just coincidence, though, because I feel like... Uh. I don't know. Sarah Simmons was second. Yeah, Sarah there was we second. Go. That's there right. Was that go. the only one? Yeah. So Shakira right chose now. Garrett, obviously. And I thought that was a great choice because I think. Agreed. I think if he wins this competition, he can go on to be a very successful winner just because he is young and marketable and he's improving. Mm -hmm. I, I, he's definitely the underdog. I think yeah. you made a good point with. Um, Tanya that I, that I didn't think of before is she's going to make a really great. Background singer. I was just gonna say that. Backup. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Somebody's right. gotta do backup, but she doesn't she doesn't bring anything to the song. Like every run she makes is a is a choice that was already in the song, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just the instant that the instant that Garrett was on stage, he controlled the audience. That's yes, true. Yeah, and then for sure. she, her whole song, she didn't even have all of them. And the great thing that Steven Steven only saw this little clip here. Like, you know, just from that moment That's true. Steven knew right away. Yeah. yeah. In the booth. So so well, yeah, that, I, that I like watching the artist grow yes. in the competition and to see him because I don't know I don't think I I would have predicted that he would make it this far. Yeah, no, he just gets more and more confident, more and more in his element. He's great to watch. For sure, makes for good TV. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, next and, up. Oh, yeah. Well, by the way, no, just real quick, just uh, this, Caroline and Sarah. So six of the eight that advanced tonight were the first one to go. Okay. So, wow. Yeah. Mm. Just there you go. <laughs> that, I just wanted to prove a point. There's some math for My right. point has been proven. Okay, <laughs> Christian proves a point. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Got it. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Thomas versus Mary Miranda. <laughs> 
And Chris saying, what a wonderful world. And Mary Miranda saying, every breath you take. And I know we're kind of torn on this one because I didn't think Chris was good. I what I love Chris. I really do. Chris, when he does those high notes, that falsetto, I mean, there's nothing like it. And I think he has a, a genuineness and a subtlety in his voice that I absolutely love. What I didn't like so much about this performance is I felt like there was just too much vibrato, yeah. really. There was just, for me, like when you get to a technical, you know, level, I just think that there was too much vibrato and it took away, I think, just from the from the simple uniqueness that he has in his voice, you know, I, that, that's what did it. I think that's so true, because especially when he was going down on the lower runs, mm -hmm. I think it just got sloppy and he lost it. Mm -hmm. Whereas when he is singing up in his higher register, it's, it's, just it's like so kind special. of pure. Yeah. It's yeah. so special. There's nothing like it. Oh, yeah. No, still, when, when he sang Whitney Houston's song, that's still his best performance performance thus far. Mm -hmm. There's agree. a question on that, but I really enjoyed this arrangement. Really? I, I, I thought it was I thought it was a very a soulful way to present this song, which we've heard many, many different arrangements yeah. of this song, and I thought it was a unique twist on it, and I and I enjoyed it, and yeah, especially when you sure. especially when you compare well, it to Mary. If we're comparing which we'll get it to, to Mary, but, yeah, <laughs> there is Please no comparison. Do. I couldn't she, believe what some of the what Adam in particular oh said God. about her performance. I was blown away. I was I because I just I mean it was yeah. cringeworthy, right? <laughs> Yes, it was terrible. Was, I don't like saying stuff like oh, that about be, people. Okay, I'll be the mean um, one. Okay. <laughs> you be sweet. I can't she was, do that. She was under pitch the whole time. Mm -hmm. She needs to sing a slutty pop song. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yep. she does not yep. have this ballad, sweet girl voice. Get up there, sing I'm a slave. Let for alone you. the police. Sing, yeah. Sing something like. Oh, God. Sing something <laughs> yeah, else. This is horrible. And. Thank you, Usher, for just telling it like it is. Yes. And just saying he didn't like it because I yes, a thing I like about the voice is that they are a positive show and it, they aren't, you know, so much about making fun of people and bringing them down. But you but, can be honest without yeah. crushing somebody. Completely. Yes. And maybe like, say, "Why don't you be a model?" <laughs> She sounds like a very good karaoke singer, and Chris just brought me to like a millionaire's wedding. That's what he said. <laughs> okay. Wow. Millionaire's wedding. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So obviously Chris Thomas won that one. Yes. Is anybody anybody against that? No. <laughs> no. 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 no, no, no. no. But <laughs> I do think that his next performance needs to be on par with his blind audition because yeah. I think that's still carrying him mm -hmm. and that's not going to carry him for much longer. Uh -huh. And not on Shakira's team. Her team is stacked. Her, her team is really stacked. Yeah, her, and her team went from nothing to stacked, really. Oh, for sure. And yeah. in this competition this year, we've got all these like powerhouse R&B vocalists. Mm -hmm. And I think he's kind of forgettable in comparison to the whole lot of them. Hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey. Well, I mean, I still think he's really special. He, well, he, yeah. he, he's, he just needs to showcase. He just needs to showcase he, that. He's one of the few strong R and B males. That, That's true. That are on that the are show. Left. Okay. That are left. That are left. <laughs> that are left. We lost. Yeah. We lost a, we lost a couple. Today. Yeah. Um, next up is Karina Iglesias versus Monique <gasps> Abadie. I love and Karina. Why didn't the I judges do. like Karina? I don't I, know. They, no. Okay, this they, is what I'll say. Uh, this is what I'll say about Karina. I thought, I mean, I thought her performance tonight was amazing. I thought she killed that song. I just love her. I think she yeah. was on. I think that what the judges were saying was that she. I think she can just do anything. Uh -huh. I literally think that she can do anything that she puts her mind to, or anything that you put in front of her. And I don't think that she showcased that ability to do whatever she wants. Okay. Um, but, but does she but have to in every song? It. Yeah. Quick, that's that's what I, th I mean, that's what yeah. I think. That, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah, because to, to me, my, my interpretation of what they were saying was, you picked a song that was too easy for you. Right. Because but I think she picked she, a song that she showcased who she is. Well, she nailed this. I think she, this yeah. is a fast-paced, like, yeah. consistent song, whereas I guess if it is a competition, you need to have, like, a lot of different moments in a song. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And her moment was just like, I'm badass and I'm just gonna, but I which love, I loved. Yeah. I think that, I don't know, I love that about the show that for the most part, they appreciate it when you don't go all crazy yeah. all over the place. And I, But I do feel like they are harder on the ones that are really good. You know, when they know that you can do more, then they want you to do that. However, they appreciate you know what I mean? Yeah. I think totally. it's, a, it's a really delicate balance, and it depends on who you are. It depends on the song choice, where the judges are going to go. But um, I thought she just 
I loved yeah. it. I, I, I was I was ready for her <laughs> being like you know like the wrestling guy that I am. As soon as she was done, to just drop the mic and climb those like rope setups <laughs> in the corner and just pose because she was just like done mine. Yeah, okay. no, she killed it. She's she definitely solid. a rock star. I mean, oh, she's yeah, going sure. out there oh, when yeah. I see her. You're like she's sexy. She's powerful. She's holding her mm -hmm. own as a woman. As and like she I looked love really it. hot tonight. Yeah, she's got she the hair style. Yeah, yeah the hair it. down a little bit. Yeah, I liked it. And well, makeup, I like it. Also, mm -hmm. going up against Monique Abadie, and aye, I don't know aye, why aye. the the young girls on Shakira's team don't do it for me. And she was doing great beforehand. Like the other rounds, I love Monique. I, me too. Why, 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 why would you sing Celine Dion? Unless you can, like the only <laughs> person on that. a singing competition show that can sing Celine Dion is Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> That's only Am because you're right? obsessed with her. Yeah, no, but that's true. Because if you can't, it's an unhealthy obsession that he has with her. If you can't hit those notes and you can't, Chloe said it when we were watching it. Why would you cover somebody who has perfect pitch when you're pitchy? Yeah. I, had, I added the one you're pitchy. But it's a that's, good a, that's it's a very a good, good point. It yeah. was. I wrote in my notes, I want to puke, which is kind of mean. But wow. It's how I felt. Wow. Yeah, I just can't. Like I said, I I can't say anything bad about people, so I just I write won't say write down anything. what you want to say, and I'll. <laughs> No, I think, you know, I'm sure she's a sweet girl. I just, I don't, she doesn't do it for me. That's I awesome. loved yeah. her in the from the blind audition in her battle round. I love, yeah, I agree. She was singing Team. such a young, fun song, and I think yeah. that's who she is. Not she was dancing, like and she was, like, battle. crawling. Oh, really? I wanted the other guy to want to win in the battles. Oh. I really did. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah when, when I saw, when I saw, <laughs> no, when, when, I, when I saw these two, when she's I saw really these two paired up, <laughs> yeah, I know. when I saw these two paired for the knockout, I think this was the one that I, like, leaned over to you, Jason, and I'm like, this is gonna be like the toss up one to me, like just from where they came from, and then they actually performed, and like this was no contest. Yeah. Well, and Adam called it powerful. I well, she's, she's got a strong voice. You never know, though. In the room, That's it could true. be different. I will say, being in the room and being, you know, on the, watching it on TV is totally different. You know, okay. oh sure, you can you can feel there's a there. It might have been powerful, it may have been. Okay. I just didn't feel that. I from didn't here. feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, apparently, except craziness. Except for disgust. <laughs> oh, um, okay, wow. let's get to my favorite one of the night. Sasha <laughs> Allen versus Shauna P. Second no. favorite. Out. Like, second favorite. There's I your mean, second favorite of the night? Oh, well, we already know favorite. Judith is her favorite. Judith is my favorite. Okay, At Last is such a hard song to sing because we've heard it covered so many times. Mm -hmm. So to take this song and make it your own, I think is just huge. And she... She just murdered like, it. This oh, is a yeah. Sasha song when you heard it. You don't think of anybody else no. singing it. You think of her. I forgot about Beyonce, which is really, yep. really hard. Yep. Uh -huh. I mean, if you, think I love if you guys think I love Judith Hill, you have no idea how much I love Beyonce. <laughs> is that your girl? Is that your girl? <laughs> That's my girl. That's your girl? <laughs> well, and she sings songs. So I think I've said this before, like so heavily mm. like it's just so emotionally like you just feel like you've been like wrung out after in a good way like yeah, yeah. No, so good. I felt like she was singing it to her husband I yeah. really did it was just like I felt like she saw him standing right in front of him and she was just like expressing all of that love I just look at her I, now, mean, I just want to I just oh want to stare at her she was beautiful she was in, all in white and her, uh, oh my gosh she was and just I will so say, ethereal I think she gives Judith a run for her money what did I say weeks ago I said weeks <laughs> yes, ago that she yeah. did better because than Judith I and she had the best performance of the night tonight. Yeah. Close. Close. She had Disagree. the best performance <laughs> of the night tonight. I think she's more relatable than Judith. You know what I mean? Like, yes. I agree. You see yes. her and you want to root is, for her yeah. more. With Judith, you just expect it, I guess. True. That's true. Yeah. Which isn't necessarily a good or a bad thing. But. She she reminds me of Diana Ross, and I I'm like dying to see her do Diana Ross. Oh my God! Yes. That would be pretty amazing. I, I just got goosebumps so. again. Totally do it. From that. That's Look good. At her. Again. Shakira stood up. Standing ovation. Yeah, that says which it all. but again, feel horrible for, for Shauna P. For Shauna, because she starts saying, to go. Shauna's saying, maybe I'm amazed. And she didn't do bad. I, I just am not a Shauna fan, but I will See, say I I kind of liked her holding back more in the performance. Me too. All, well, again, I agreed with Usher in that I am a Shauna fan, but I really missed her rasp tonight. I think that that's what makes her who she is, and mm -hmm. that husky, raspy quality I felt like didn't come out as much, and that's what Usher touched upon in his comments. And Yeah. I miss that, but I do, I think that she's great and I feel for her. I wanted to see her go for, further, you know? Me too. I, her story is her actually story, really yeah. heartbreaking. I think for any of the stories in here, 
for her, it's like no one has died or anything. She's not coming from anything like that. She's but coming she's from. She really wants hard. it so like, bad. Yeah, yeah, she's coming from just wanting it for decades. I'll give you and that. And seeing people who she's worked sure. with achieve. Yeah, that's got to suck. Success and like she's still just hanging in there, and having everyone tell her how talented she is, but still not get there Ugh. is like it just kills me. Oh it's my so hard. God. But I think oh I think too this. This song in particular kind of showed how like incorrectly she's been singing for so long, because she she doesn't have good technique if you watch her face while she's singing. I but, love watching her face though; she gets so awesome. I love her oh, expression. See, I'm like, I oh, do. but I think like the fact that she can't go for those high notes anymore right. huh. is like if she would have been singing correctly this whole mm -hmm. time and huh. using more than just her face, she probably would have been a lot better. Well, well, well yeah. Well, let, let me ask let me ask you guys this. Okay. I mean, with do you think that she would have advanced if she faced Chris, Karina, or Garrett instead? I don't think she would have. Chris, Karina, or Garrett, no. Because those are the no. four. Yeah, You're so right. um, no. she would have if she faced Monique. If it was her versus Monique, yes, but. Right? Yeah. But, yeah, so, but then we would have yeah. lost someone different. Obviously, Sasha won that one. And I think, <laughs> I mean, I felt bad for Shauna even going into it because after <laughs> Sasha, Shakira stood up. She had no yeah. chance. <laughs> So. You know, like that's horrible. Uh, that's but, that's I mean, what makes the knockouts, I think, so intense and so heartbreaking. Well, and I wanted mm -hmm. to talk to you about this because they didn't have the knockouts here, season. <laughs> Thank the Lord. So what? <laughs> what would you? What do you think? What are your thoughts on the knockouts? What song would you have chosen? Oh, that mm -hmm. is really interesting. Um, if I if I had it my way, I I really wanted to do. Um, uh, a reggae version of Linda Perry's uh, or Four Non Blondes, What's Up? I really wanted to do that when I was cool. on the show, or okay. What's Going On? I guess it, it, yeah. people, more people know it. On. And I said, Hey! Yeah, oh, okay, no, no, yeah, yeah, that would have been yeah. awesome. Been I, awesome. I, I really who, wanted who to do a reggae version of that. Yeah, cool. so, cool. I would. Yeah. You should cover that, that, that been... and do it on. <laughs> that'd be so good. <laughs> Maybe in studio <laughs> right now. Fun. <laughs> do they? Um, yeah, yeah. I, w I really, I was really sad. I didn't get to do that. Do they the get show. rights for like a lot of the songs you want to sing? Or yeah, no. They have to get everything cleared. It's a whole process. Was there ever songs that you like wanted to sing that weren't able to? That you weren't able to? Uh, that one was one of them. Um, okay. I'm trying to think. This was like a while ago. I mean, there were so yeah. I I know that there were. I know that there were. There. I had a whole list of songs that I didn't get to do. So oh. so so wait. Well, but in that case, like you asked to sing that song, and the four non blondes said no. We don't want our song to be aired. Is I that... honestly I don't know how that works. I couldn't I think, tell you. Yeah, whoever has the rights to the song. Because I would think is like that song's like so from that one. I want to bring it back. Yeah. You got a great arrangement of it. Yeah. I don't know how it works. Well, that's yeah. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'd like to see that. <laughs> um, let's get into Team Adam. Let's. And before we talk about his knockout round, we gotta talk. We've got to talk about Adam and his glasses. Oh my God! Yeah. I loved the glasses. Yeah. 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 We do have to talk about yeah. Adam. We and do. His go ahead, go ahead. I he has a new accessory. Yes. And it's so sexy. <laughs> I'm really. I was really feeling the glasses. I even tweeted about it. I was like, so I'm really digging the glasses tonight. <laughs> Who's with me? I think Christian is definitely with you, right? <laughs> um, you know, he ran out of contacts that day. Oh. He just, you know, he was waiting for CBS to finish him oh, up. I loved and just them. Had to wear his they were great. Yeah. It There's, made him look mm. so sophisticated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it showed his nerdy side, which I think he's totally. been showing more this season. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, oh, Adam, you're really cute. You're not, you're not as hard as you think you are. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam's first battle round was Duncan Kamakana versus my favorite Sarah Simmons. And they sang Wanted You More by Lady Antebellum, which is obviously scary going into it because you've got yes. Hillary right there. I can't. Singing it in front of her, that's got to be nerve wracking. But I think. Duncan didn't connect to the song emotionally. No, not at this all. This is like a sad breakup song, and he's like smiling, like so happy the whole time he's mm -hmm. singing it. And then Sarah steps on and just like owns it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about Duncan. <laughs> tell um, us about him. Tell us about him. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Duncan, no, I. he seems like a sweet guy, I guess. Um, he, he just, it's not my, that that type of voice is just not my thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I know it's a, I, it's a successful thing. I feel like there's a lot of artists who, who sing like that, but that's, it's just yeah, that. It's a little too Nickelback there's a lot of, for me. Exactly. I, there, you know what I mean? I, I, honestly, I honestly thought by his mannerisms on stage and everything like that, that I I think since he got past the blonde audition, from there he was relying on his looks. 
would go farther um, than that. He I. is very attractive. Yeah, that's why, that. yeah, that's he's why I'm very. I'm comfortable in saying he's a good looking guy, and he was <laughs> relying on that, I think, too much. And then all of a sudden, he finds a song, and he's like, well, I'll just give, you know, show my pearly whites. But I think when lines. you're going, Sarah Simmons is an and, artist. But yeah, Sarah just destroyed him. And she, every single aspect of her voice, whether she's going low or going higher, turning on the rasp or doing the breathy thing, is I just excellent. love her. Mm -hmm. I just love her. She does something to me. I yeah, I get chills every time she sings. Every time. And Blake, even thinking about it, like my heart starts pumping faster. <laughs> I think she's great. And Blake even said, he said, as a fan, he's going to buy everything she sells on iTunes. And But as a coach, he's scared of her. And I believe him, and I'm going to do the same. And you guys can all do the same and go on iTunes and watch us and rate and comment and tell your friends. It takes a minute. We like to read your comments, and we will always comment back. And um, yeah, and give us five stars <laughs> on Jason, iTunes. Thank you. And while you're there, get Naya Kate's music. Yeah, it's really get her good. EP Third <laughs> Street. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> and and like and leave comments on our YouTube page too, because we yes. enjoy listen, reading what you guys have to say. You know of the videos. And of we us reply. Talking. And we do reply. So yeah. there's that. Good for you guys. We you do. Thank you. That's We're so, so awesome. loyal. <laughs> We're it. amazing people. <laughs> Let's get into the knockouts on Team Adam. Dun dun dun. First up was Amber Carrington versus Matt as well. And Amber saying I'm with you by Avril Lavigne. Kind of risky because Cassidy Pope sang this last season. I just she's, I like the, she's amazing. She's the young country girl, but I thought Amber totally owned it. I thought she nailed it. Yeah, she did great. She did great. And she looked great. Yes. She yes. looked amazing. She finally looks her age. Yes. And is dressing her age and singing songs that she would be making for an album and Okay, she killed this song. Well, and when you think it's Avril Lavigne, you don't think like powerhouse vocal. Yeah. But she, I don't know, it was, there's just such an intensity that she brought to it. Yeah. And, real, and she feels, I feel her emotion very clearly. Yes. It really comes through. She's really honest. She seems like a really just sweet girl, and I just thought, I loved it. I, I think that's kind of what Team Adam has this year, is every single one of his players can like emote to the song yeah, very well. Yeah, absolutely. And you get like just drawn into them. But she, I don't know, she's definitely making herself a front runner in the competition. She's the dark horse she though, is. for sure. She's still the one that I think is no one's favorite, but is obviously is one Adam over. People. Yeah. And yeah, and every time she sings, you're just like, oh yeah, there's this girl who is amazing. Yeah, like, oh, I forgot how good she was. Yeah. Every time. So she was up against Matt as Whale. Matt as Whale. <laughs> and they sang Higher Ground by Stevie Wonder. And they didn't have their guitars. Well, the one guy didn't. And I thought no, they that both kind didn't. of. They both didn't. I know. Have well, any well, yeah, instruments. but the one guy doesn't usually play guitar, correct? Sometimes the shorter he, the one. Yeah. Okay. No, I think we've seen well, either both. Way, yeah. It just kind of ruined the whole vibe of their band to me. They felt they seemed awkward. Yeah. I, I, you know, I thought it was interesting. I thought that it was a cool, it was a different version of the song, yeah. which I really appreciated and respect as an artist, you know. And um, I just felt like for the um, for the knockouts, it's such a critical moment in yeah. the competition. You really have to lay it all out there. And I think they may maybe they rely too heavily on their arrangement of the song. And what and vocally, just nothing really happened yeah. that really jumped out at me. Well, and I even wrote in my notes. I'm like, oh, they need to sing separately. This is their chance. And then they sang separately, and I'm like, oh, go go back to singing together. That oh. was not good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I enjoyed I enjoyed them. I enjoyed their run. I thought they did decent, but obviously they couldn't compete with Amber in this one. Yeah. I'm, but they're I'm, so awesome. They're great. I'm sad. They're I'm awesome. sad to see them leave the show because yeah. I love their. What did what did they? What did one of the guys say to Adam at the end or something like that? He, he said, like, be, he said "You have to let me go." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's time to let me go. go. Well, and I think they need to be more of like an un, in more of an unplugged environment. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. they're better uh -huh. just the two of them. Uh huh. Which is fine, and, and I kind of I, I would have liked to see them go farther in the competition, but. Obviously, I'm I sure think she deserves to. Uh, yeah. And they've got each other too, which is only. <laughs> That's all they need. <laughs> yeah, they've got each other. I want them here as a future guest. Might as well. Let's get might, might as well. well. Might as yeah, well. They're funny. They're funny. They Come are funny. <laughs> um, next up, we've got Amy Whitcomb versus Carolina Glacer. Amy saying House of the Rising Sun and Caroline saying A Little Talks. I really thought Amy killed it. Well, okay. I will say that at the, when, on her first line, when she was doing that more subtle stuff and using that lower dynamic, I was not yeah. 
I was not in it. I was like, what? No, she, no. She couldn't one. do like the slide from yeah, her no. like chest voice to she her head couldn't. voice. But, but dang it, when she is in that belty, wow, she was blowing my mind and she was nailing every note. I thought she really, I thought she totally killed it, and I was sad to see her go. I, I am too. I totally agree. I think. I appreciate what she was trying to do at the beginning. I understand why right. she was doing it, and especially for the knockouts yeah. mm-hmm. show, she can try and be different. But oh my god, when you can belt like that, yeah, and on belt. that song, yeah, belt it, baby. Oh my goodness, and I, I like her style. I think I'm just so sick of the Caroline type. I mean, okay, Caroline <laughs> is precious. Yeah, I'm, and she's I will, so I, sweet I do and really like her voice too a lot, and I think she seems really sweet. Yeah, I just honestly, I don't <laughs> see. She's not a Dia Frampton to me, where Dia will be like writing her music and really putting it out there as in that type, because she falls into that type yeah. vocally. Um, I don't see really Caroline really doing that like but I don't she see said, she Caroline fits. has said just to defend her she said that she views herself as a songwriter as well and that's why she was excited to go on Team Adam because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. he does that I think that Caroline um, I think she just needs more confidence yeah. really well, you could see you could see it all over her face when Amy was singing Caroline was freaking yep. out and I felt, you felt you horrible know? for and her you felt bad for her and, and she's got a great voice and I think while I was sad to see Amy go, I do really like Caroline, and I just think that what my hope for Caroline is that she just builds that confidence, is that she's one of those artists that we just see her get better every yeah. time and more confident Well, time. and I thought it was a good song choice, but then I thought the song really? kind of owned her. Yeah, I think so, too. Like, I thought it was I a think, bad song choice. I thought she choice. should have rearranged it, because it, I don't know, she just kind of got lost in it. Yeah, I, I, I really want, I don't know what song I want her to sing. I don't know if you guys have a good idea, but I want to see her really own a song. And I just think that that song sort of owned her and the music was overpowering her. I'd like to hear her do like a fun song, like the band fun. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Something oh, a little uh-huh. unexpected, but cool. like uh-huh. more upbeat. Yeah. I would I would, I would, would be interested to see Caroline do something like what Dia did in the first, in the first season, in the first, I believe it was the first live rounds when she did um, that Kanye oh, song. Oh yes. Heartbreak. Yeah, when she did oh, that, yeah. like that Caroline amazing. needs to do something like that. Totally. You know, For something sure. totally out of her wheelhouse, but then she makes it her wheelhouse. Totally. I agree. I would love to see something like that, especially because that, I feel like, would prove her singer-songwriter sort of quality, because right now, she's still, like, super coffee house to me, and just, like, coffee house with a very interesting voice, and I, God, (laughs) I want to just see her, like, if she's still here, I need to see it. Why? And I, I haven't seen why. I like her personality, and I, I like her, and when she talks, she's so genuine and sweet and cute. And yes, I hear why she's good and why people think she's good, but compared to everybody else, well, I'm like, yeah. Well, here, well, this this is my opinion. The reason why now, now to me, I thought this was the closest battle of the night. I thought huh. the I thought these two. I agree. I, I could have. I was happy either way. Yeah. When I look at Adam's four, which is an insane four, <laughs> you you look at the four of them and Caroline has such a different voice than the other three that it makes sense. Because to me, if if Amy was a part of all that as well, then you just got these four powerhouses that will you know, be duking it out and things like that. And it's like, well, why not have something different in I there? And, that's, Sarah, and though, that's, I think, what Caroline is. Mm-hmm. I, but I think Sarah sort of encompasses Caroline's quirks. She's a combination and, yeah, of the two. But like... Bar- is like what it's made. Like that's like, <laughs> like Caroline is like. I wish I was Sarah. I think that's <laughs> no. I, I agree. <laughs> well, because I think Caroline, if she had enough training, could be as good as Sarah. But Sarah emotes to the song so well that you just can't really compare the two. It's like Caroline seems amateur compared to Sarah almost. A hundred percent. So up next, we've got Judith Hill versus Orlando mm. Dixon. Go ahead. Mm. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Guys. <laughs> no, I, Judith is so good. Tell what Judith Orlando's did to you tonight. Orlando's amazing. Time out. Okay, thank you so much, Judith, for tweeting back to me. <laughs> yeah, I really do appreciate it. Should I'm have heard fan. her screaming. I know. What right. happened? I, I thought she like I thought someone fell or something because she just had just a shriek. I she felt horrible like for Orlando going oh, into this. Me too. Because whoever went into this was gonna lose. Yeah, it's true. And, and Orlando, so I think that I mean I love Judith. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I do. I really love love Judith, but. 
I, Orlando has has a quality that I really yes. in his voice that I really is again one of those voices that just it does something yeah. to me. He's got a a grit and a rasp, and it really makes you feel. Talk about emoting things. Really, you know, he's got a really an interesting story, and it's a and it's a heartfelt story, and I really feel it when he sings. Yeah, and I feel like Judith. Sorry, just no. Sorry, right, go ahead. I feel like when Judith gets on the stage, it's like you're popping in an album, and it's just mm -hmm. pure perfection. Oh yeah, she's and a it's professional. Like she's oh, not yeah. a human. <laughs> no, she is. She is. She's not a human. Yeah. No, no, she's a complete professional. Orlando, I thought he, I thought he put up a great fight. That all my life is one of my all-time favorite R&B songs. Me too. And I enjoyed his arrangement of it. Um, I thought he put on a, a very I good was, performance. It's just like the coaches were just. I felt like they were throwing him under the bus compared to. I mean, they, they didn't say anything bad, but I felt like for him to go out the show the they, way that he did, I thought he yeah. did a great it's, job. It's like it's I like really did. it's like because Judith is so great, they kind of forgot about what he did. Right. But I thought that song is kind of a little bit overdone too. Yeah. And I thought I was only thinking about Orlando when I heard it. I was thinking this was his song, and I thought he listened to the notes Adam gave to him mm. and did it well. But then again. Judith, you just, I mean, I would have picked Judith, and I love Orlando, but she's just so good. And she, I mean, she took a Willie Nelson song and made it a Judith song. Yeah, no, that, it was amazing. It really was amazing. The fact really that she sang amazing. a Willie Nelson song, I mean, come mm -hmm. on. Yeah. First off, that's incredible. Come on. Like, just come on, I can't believe right? that's even in her wheelhouse. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I'm singing Willie Nelson, and so I'm going to sing What am I pulling out of my arsenal today? Well, it's incredible. And her voice is so consistent from the bottom of her register to the top. There's no mm -hmm. weak spot. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. nothing. No. She was doing such hard transitions vocally that it was so impressive. I want to give it to Orlando, though, because I think he did a great job. This does not sound like a karaoke version no. of this song, which I think is really hard for this song, because this is a really overdone R&B song, and he was connected, but I mean, the things, the things Judith was doing vocally are just It's just, just crazy. So obviously so she won that one. Yeah. <laughs> the next obviously. knockout round is Warren Stone versus Sarah Simmons. Really impressed with Warren. I have to say, I, I enjoy Warren. Yeah. I did not like anything he'd done up until, up this, until this point, point. and I'm like, wow, this is really where your vocal talent shines. And he's shined. kind of got, he's got his look down now. He's yeah. a little bit because at first he was kind of like white trash when he went into it, <laughs> and now he now he looks good. He sings good, but he's nothing. I don't know. He doesn't. Like, he's a good singer, but mm -hmm. I don't feel anything when he's singing. I'm just kind of like, meh, turn the station. <laughs> right, but yeah, but, and, and then Sarah mm. just blew yeah, him out but of I the mean, water I thought again. it was a great song He did choice. a fantastic yeah, job. No, yeah, no, he, he did a really great great job of the song, and, and I agreed that it was his best performance. Um, but my mind was already made up going into yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, could, and I, mean, I feel bad, but I just, you know, Warren, you're awesome, but Sarah just... And it, it kind of makes you wonder if, like, the coaches <laughs> going into this do that on purpose. Think the same. Because Adam wants Sarah on his team, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I'm going to pair up against Warren, no matter what happens, show right. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's I I I think they do go into it like that, but I also think they're still open to being surprised. Yeah. yeah. Because I think that's how he is with Amber. Uh-huh. I think oh every God. time he's surprised with are, Amber. Are you hearing this? I know she's incredible. She's so good. She is so good. And I was just having a conversation with one of my friends. I was waiting for somebody to do Wild Horses on the show. I was like, that's such an amazing song. Why has nobody done it? And then she did it. There it well, is. I think it's so such a it is like legendary song that you don't want to be the person to screw it up. Maybe. And yeah. she didn't. She definitely she did made not. it her own. Like Rolling Stones who while you're listening to this? You're just oh. Sarah Simmons. Yeah, yeah. And she has so many colors in her voice. Yeah. And she knows just when to use them. Yeah. And it's she amazing. is such a like yeah. almost competitive singer because she can literally like make you so happy and so sad in, in one song. Mm -hmm. And what's amazing about her too is that she might be doing this this amazing thing like belting or hitting these crazy notes, but it never Never feels overdone. No. You're never like it. Su it surprises you and it amazes you, but not in the way of like, oh my god, what is she doing? It's just like you. It's just this feeling. Yeah, that it happens. seems like so genuine. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. You're on the journey with her, like mm -hmm. emotionally, and then you're also like, oh wait, whatever she's doing vocally is insane. Yeah. But that's not your first thought. Your no, first thought exactly. is you're with her on this journey. I got chills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I think that's what makes somebody an artist as opposed to just a vocalist. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She it's it's about the emotion of the song first 
and then the technique second. Uh -huh. And I think that's why we all connect her. She's yeah. very much like Adele in that way, I think, is that yeah. you're just, whatever she's going to write and whatever she's going to sing that she writes is just going to be amazing. Well, and it's funny you say Adele because they meant every girl on this show gets compared to Adele. <laughs> but I think she's the first one that, like, that could, could be, be compared comparable to Adele. to Adele and have that career, you know? Yeah. yeah. So Team Blake and Team Usher, um, We'll for be. the battle rounds, we rushed through both yeah. of their performances. Um, the Morgan twins got voted off, and Justin wah, Rivers won wah. that battle. And then <laughs> for Team Usher, your girl Michelle yeah, my girl. won. <laughs> Our Massachusetts girl, Michelle. Ow. She's so, still in. She's we'll, more than that. She's, she's more, more than Massachusetts. <laughs> I want to give her more than that. She's better than that. But we'll wow. hopefully see her. We'll see her tomorrow sing, and I'm excited for her because I think she's really yeah. good. And you so know, it, you know, it's it's kind of interesting that it just dawned on me today. We got one more day of this, and then when the live rounds begin, and everyone that we s predicted was going to win it all is still in. We're pretty we good. Know. We know what's up. We know what's going on. <laughs> we know what's up because I'm, I'm on Team Sarah, Team Judith, and I'm Team, team Michelle. Michelle. What about so you? I got, I, oh, I got I, one I more day. I definitely am Team Sarah. Yes. With you there. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna high five you for that. But also Team Ryan. I love oh, Ryan okay. too. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I really do. Ryan. Yeah. I, I, Ryan Ryan's is right really up in amazing. there as well. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Naya was on Team Blake. Yes. Let's and talk about that. Let's talk about Naya because I want to say I'm a hipster Naya Kete fan <laughs> because <laughs> I used to yes, go. Yes, I'm a hipster <laughs> fan. I used to go and You've watch you it. on the Third Street Promenade, and I think you were performing a Jesse J song. Could be, yep. And me and my friend, outside of Urban Outfitters, I remember this moment vividly, because <laughs> me and my friend walk out, and we're like, oh my god, and we had gone to the beach, and so we sat down a towel in front of you, and we, we watched you for like 30 minutes. That's Got amazing. Got your EP. That's so good. A, yes, you have my EP. That's yes. great. So that we I titled were, Third Street after wonderful people like yourself. Thank you. <laughs> and so why don't you just tell us, obviously, is the inspiration obviously comes from performing on Third Street, but tell us about the EP. Um, well, that the Third Street EP, I mean, definitely was just, I had, we did it um, right after we moved to LA, we, and we recorded it in our apartment, so <laughs> cool. my band Gosh. and I, and, um, and it was just a, I mean, it was just such an ex exciting time for us, and um, we, I was so grateful, when I first got to Los Angeles, I got a daytime job as a Tele fundraiser, mm -hmm. and then Fun. I started playing on the streets, just kind of on a whim, because a friend of mine told me about a friend of theirs who played on the streets, and I was like, oh, I can do that. And so I went and I started doing that, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like selling CDs and making money and meeting fans and you know ma growing my my fan base in LA. Like I can do this. So I quit my job, and then my brother was able to quit his job as well, and it just became like this thing that we were able to do. We were able to make a living. We were able to create new fans. And I just felt like the Third Street EP was our way of, um, you know, we named it after Third Street because it's our just our way of saying thank you to, to all the, the people who have helped us through. You said you saw us when my brother's wrist was sprained, yeah, you're, right? You're yeah, you're making money for x-rays. Yeah, we're making money for x-rays. We've made money for our upcoming EP <laughs> that's coming out June 11th, which I'm super excited about. I yeah. wrote a track on it with Colby Calais, so oh, she's singing oh, wow, back wow. up that's so on cool. it, which is super awesome. And um, Linda Perry, I talked about Four Non Blondes earlier. Linda Perry is one oh, of my wow. all-time favorites, and I wrote a song with Linda Perry that's going to be on it. Wow. That's crazy. Congratulations. Yeah, so we're just really excited releasing it June 11th, right before we play Bonnaroo for the first time. Hey. Huge. I want two of these. How does how does Bonnaroo <laughs> come about? Bonnaroo yeah, and you're playing Outside Lands too, and right? And Outside Lands, yes. Bonnaroo and Outside Lands, and it's so interesting because I just wrote Paul McCartney's headlining both of those festivals. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. Yeah, right. <laughs> and um, I just wrote a song um, I called Blackbird Soul after, and I it was inspired by Blackbird, and I'm like determined. I am determined to find him somewhere and like just be like, give me three minutes of your time and play him this song. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Yeah. I'm trying. Like I'm like everywhere even when I'm on the promenade still I'm like so guys, before I play this song I just want you to do me a favor and come together in prayer. <laughs> First, that we'll, I can get we'll Paul to listen to it, and second of all, God's get Paul to like it, right? <laughs> so, 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 so you still go and perform on the Third Street oh, Promenade as well? Oh, yeah. As I, long as I'm in town, we're out there, man. That's amazing. I, I am curious, because I know a lot of people that, you know, want to do things like that. Like you were saying, I mean, you were making, you know, 
solid money from performing yeah. it. Don't you have to generally like get a permit to do things like that? You do, but it's so easy. You know what? No, I'm not going to say how easy it is. No, no, no. Because <laughs> I don't she want, a, so, I don't want competition. Permit. You don't want competition. No, um, no. It's, what if it's I was so out there easy, playing with you? Guys, go. If that's something that you want to do, I mean, like, I just feel like if music is something you want to do, and it's something that you're passionate about. You do anything and everything that you can to make it happen. And if you're not on, if I'm not on the road, I'm out on the streets because I, I know that I can go out there and play my. I mean, there are people. Yeah, there are people who recognize me from the voice, which is great. But there are also people who don't know who I am and mm. now know, and that's amazing. And so, you know, when ever, anytime somebody comes up to me and says, "What are you, What are you still doing here?" Like, as far as I'm concerned. I will do it for as long as I possibly can because it's a real way for me to meet fans one on one. It keeps me humble. I really, it, that's something that I really am proud of about myself is that I feel like a pretty humble person and it, and it keeps me that way. And, um, and I just get to, you know, every time it's a difficult day where, because I mean, we're out there for like six to eight hours a day, three to four days a week when we're in town, just like hustling and trying to pay our bills and trying to pay, you know, for tour costs and all that stuff. Um, and so there are those days when I'm just like, oh, my voice is sore. I'm tired. I, I get the idea of standing around in heels all day is just like the last thing I want to <laughs> do. But when, I, when I'm actually, when I do get there, when I load all the gear and it's all set up and I'm singing and like I'm like there's nothing better than that. That's so you cool. You know, it doesn't it, I could That's one of the streets, greatest answers be... to a question I've ever <laughs> had in my life. I want to hug so, you but the t desk is too long. Oh, air hug. Air, air hug. hug. There air we hug. go. Crazy Glue is the lead single off the EP, right? It is. Yes. Can we hear that again, Steven? Yes. <laughs> and while he's looking for that, can you tell us a little bit about the influence behind the song, musically and lyrically? <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, wrote this song with two awesome people, um, a woman named Shelly Fairchild and a guy named Philip Lassiter in Nashville. My okay. first um, trip to Nashville, it was my first real business trip, actually, um, and because uh, my manager sent me there, you know, specifically to write. And I had no idea what was going to happen, but we ended up writing this song. And um, I think that it has a lot of different meanings for me. Um, lyrically, it's, um, you know, about, I, 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 mm, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, how do I answer this question? There's a, a man oh in my life okay. mm -hmm. who we've been, we were together for five years. We're kind of on a, on a break, as it were, right now, but he's still very prominent in my life. and. You know, it's just the kind of, there he is. <laughs> um, it's just the kind of thing where if you have real love for somebody, you stick to them no matter what. Yeah. Whether you're in a relationship or not, and you just appreciate them as human beings and walking this earth with you and who really understand you. Um, so there's that aspect of it, that like relationship lovey aspect of it. But then there's my brother too, who's also in the video. And, um, you know, for us, we grew up playing music together. We were in a family band. When I had the idea to move to Los Angeles from Massachusetts, I was terrified, but the idea of going with my brother and knowing that there would always be somebody by my side, no matter what, um, was, you know, really special to me. So that's what we tried to convey, um, you know, in the song and in the video that just, you know, we are a unit and we are loyal to each other. and. And all that, and then you know, just musically, I think it's just I, I try to you know I'm this I think of myself as kind of like a jazzy pop, reggae, you know, totally. artist, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, and so just in the swing of it, um, in the lightness of it, I try and be as positive as possible too in my music. It just felt like it kind of encompassed all of that. Well, I feel like after spending tonight <laughs> with you, you're such a positive, fun person, and oh, I hear I hear yeah. it in the song. Yeah, no, so good. like good. like the entire time you're talking, I'm just going like this the entire time, just <laughs> just naturally oh, because good. it's just it's it's just, it's a fun song. Right? Yeah. 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 So, you I appreciate so it that. Kind of remind me of like a young new India RE. Mm -hmm, I get like, that. Yeah, totally. It's like Colby Kalei, but I don't know. It's but like, like better voices. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the same. You have an amazing voice. Thank you. Um, yeah. And make sure you pick up her EP, June 11. June 11. June it's 11. It's called Fire Breather, and I'm so excited. I'm so Yay. excited too. I got the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and where, where can people reach out to you on you know to contact you over Twitter and everything? Oh, How can people yeah, talk to you? Oh yeah, I'm on that thing all the time. Um, nice. Twitter, yes, please uh, follow me on Twitter, um, on YouTube, on Facebook. It's just my name, Naya Kete, N A I A 
K-E-T-E. Um, you can Google it, or you can literally go to twitter.com slash naiakete, youtube.com slash naiakete, facebook.com slash naiakete. <laughs> we tried to make it very easy, <laughs> as easy as possible, since it's a, kind of a difficult name to remember. At least all the websites can be consistent. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to do that. Where can they find you guys? Uh, you could find me. You can find me here on Thursday nights hosting WWE Main Event After Buzz at 6 Pacific, 9 Eastern. And if you want to chat with me about uh, this fun little After Buzz, as music started going again, which I love. You can follow me on Twitter at CRosieVOC. And you can find me on Twitter at Chloe West X or on my website, CheapThrills.me. And you can find me also on The Awkward After Show on Wednesday nights and on Twitter and Instagram at Jason Eichler. Thank you again, Naya Thank Kente, you, Naya. for coming <laughs> <laughs> June 11th, and you can get this now, right? Yes, you can get this now on iTunes, and you can watch it on YouTube. Watch it as many times as you want to. Make your friends watch it a lot. You know, get those views Rated, up there. Yes. Rated, comment. Rated, comment it. Give it five stars. <laughs> give it many likes. Definitely. You know, all that Sold. good stuff. <laughs> and we will see you guys in here next week. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz yeah.